Hey, hello, and welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, and today is Monday Q&A day. Hello, hello. There is nothing wrong with your screen. I did a vertical video today instead of the horizontal. Um, I may do this on Q&A days unless I plan on showing you guys something um, because I, I can see a lot more comments at, at one time. So if you guys have any questions, be sure and ask me. If you're on the replay, welcome. Be sure and ask your question by saying replay and then ask away. Welcome so much. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> I, I um, Man, I'm so random today. <laughs> So many thoughts in my head. I got to run out of here for an appointment a little later, so um, this will be a short one today. Uh, good morning. I see Carol jumped on. Hey, Bridget and Chris and Nicole. Hello, hello. Good morning. Tracy Johnson. Good morning. And Ellie. <laughs> hey, everyone. Hi, Lori. Um, so I was working on Thursday last. I saw you on a live broadcast. Um, I was working on this cowl, and then I hopped over onto my uh, Kristen Mangus page, public figure page, and I just kind of did a silent um, crochet along and made this uh, cowl that I had been um, kind of talking about, and we were sort of placing things. See? Me. So, I just didn't want to put it on just yet. So, um, anyway, that's kind of what I did, That's uh, and then my uh, weekend was spent with the with the family. Hey, Brandy. Good morning. I had something weird happen on Instagram. I posted, I had to, Friday I had to do career day and I uh, went to my kiddo's school and um, I posted on Instagram and then it like didn't post until the weekend. I'm like, I am not at my kid's school on the weekend. Like, why? <laughs> why did it wait? People were like, have fun, good luck or whatever. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> I thought, um... I don't know if anybody caught that, but no, it's the weekend and my kids are not at school. <laughs> Work, welcome, good morning. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> hey, so um, tomorrow is, um, tomorrow's the day, well, Tuesday is loom knitting. And then later on in the morning, because normally I'm on at 9 here, and then at 11.30 I will be on Annie's crochet and I will have, um, I will have, a Beth with me, Beth Ham, and we're the ones who wrote this book together, and so we will be on. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a a demo on this loom here. We'll we'll be winding it around, and um, I think I have some of the original yarn that we used in the project. So we'll be we'll be doing a demo. We'll be answering some questions, and um, and we'll be on there. So um, be sure and check out Annie's and uh, on a Facebook page. So, hey, hello, everyone. Let's see who I missed. Katie Ann. Hey, Joanne. Uh, Chris says, I thought it was odd you were at school yesterday. Yeah, totally not. Yeah, Instagram. It was weird. Like, okay, so I never saw it post. And so I was like, let me go back into Instagram and see what's going on. And then I saw my picture right there. And, and then all of a sudden it was gone. And I'm thinking, did I just not let it finish and I closed it out too fast? Maybe, maybe it was me. Maybe it was Memphis. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, so, hey, Ada, good morning, sunshine, and the girls. Hello. Um, <clears throat> Ellie, will tomorrow Annie's thing have a replay? I won't be able to do the live one. I'm assuming it'll have a replay. I mean, but, yeah, it's supposed to be 1130 Central, and they are giving us permission. I don't have permissions yet to post on their page yet. So I think what they do is they give me permissions for that time period. So, uh, hopefully I'll hear from them today to confirm. <laughs> so as far as I know, I'm letting you guys, reminding you about it that I'll be on. So hopefully you can join me over there. And, um, I would love if you, you join me live. That would be amazing to have some friends join me <laughs> over there. Uh, cause I'm not sure if they've been promoting it or not. I haven't been able to catch up with that. Uh, yeah. So it won't be on replay on this channel though. It will be on on theirs. Um, if I can download and save it, um, I might be able to upload it to this one and for you guys to see it. So, uh, provided it's not too big, um, and I have space, I'll be able to download that file. Uh, let's see. Chris has ho hoping I can catch you tomorrow. It's the yarn thing podcast going to have to fire up the two devices. Oh, at, 
11.30 Central Time tomorrow is also the Yarn Thing podcast. Well, that's a conflict. Yeah. Well, it can't be helped because it wasn't going to be that day, and then we had to make a change. So, um, that's not because I needed, I wanted it, but that was, uh, that was, that was Annie's had to do that. So, we just kind of have to do what we can do. And I wanted to be able to include uh, Elizabeth. I said ham. <laughs> like, like it's in athletics, you know? <laughs> when you're talking athletics, you like include people's last names. <laughs> hey, ham. Good job. <laughs> I want to include ham on that. <laughs> ah, that sounds funny. <laughs> I'm so slap happy. Uh, hey, Ellie, good morning. Uh, let's see. Martha, what did you say? Oh, you hope you have a good week. Thank you very much. Do you have to head out? <laughs> Um, so, oh man, Chris says, yes, yarn thing is 11 o'clock central, but got to see both my gals give you equal time. <laughs> Sweet. Thank you. Hey, Alicia, good morning. Um, we're talking about the different, um, the different broadcasts going on tomorrow. Tomorrow at, um, 11 o'clock, the yarn thing has a podcast and 1130. I have one that's on the Annie site. Um, it's uh, not Annie's site, but on their web page. Wow, can't even talk today. Glad I'm not recording video. <laughs> um, the Annie's uh, Facebook page. And uh, anyway, so I'll be on there with Beth Ham, and we'll be talking about the book, Flower Loom Crochet. And you can't see it because it's in reverse, but Beth and I both wrote this. And then um, we'll be showing some of the samples. I'm I'm sure I'll be wearing that hat because it's my favorite. Or maybe I'll, I'll put on the headband so you can see it. So, yeah. Hello. <clears throat> I can't even talk. Hello, Maurice. <laughs> Mary Say. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but she is amazing. She's the one who's um, translating all of the closed caption videos that have been happening uh, into French for the Canadians. So, well, and the French, but um, I think, I believe she is Canadian. Um, so, thank you so much. That is amazing. It's like, Wow. Um, and we had so many people who have been contributing captions. Thank you so much. I have, um, I have been reviewing them as fast as I can. Um, up until Thursday, I was working on those and completing those. Um, I think there was one that I didn't complete, uh, on, th on Thursday night cause it was a longer one. Um, and I think that was the only one left. And then Friday, like I had like a, I had like four more. I think I've been like getting like four, three to four every day. And when I checked yesterday, I had like eight that I need to review. It's over an hour worth of review, um, which it takes more time than that to review. But when you're actually doing the captions, an hour's worth of time can take several hours. So um, anyway, yeah, I really appreciate it. So. Um, yeah, it's it's amazing, and we've we've had more and more messages sent uh, with people who need those services, and they're just so grateful, so thankful that that is um, that's happening. Um, there's over 400 videos that need to be captioned, and so I am just I'm looking forward to saying we got a hundred done. You know, like we're not at that point yet, um, but it's getting there. It's you know it's climbing every day. So um, thank you from the bottom of my heart and everyone on the team and of course everyone in the um, hearing impaired deaf and hard of hearing community they are so grateful because especially handcrafts they can't read your lips if they're able to read lips and the um, all the captions are super helpful so and they can actually hit the slow motion button and really keep the captions kind of hanging on the screen for a little longer so that's even more helpful so that's pretty cool. By the way, you can, if if a video is ever too fast for you, um, you can hit the controls on those. Um, I know on your desktop you can, and you can slow it down. And people are like, and then you go into the hole and you yarn over, and you know, and it's like slow, <laughs> and it works really well. Or if you're like, this is a slow section, let me speed it up, rather than like, you know, slide your back and forth to go faster or back up, you can always just hit the, um, to go faster, you can always just speed it up. I'm yawning today, what is the deal? <laughs> 
my yarn over. <laughs> I did that one time I showed it like a Facebook live. I was laughing at myself because I was checking the captions and I sounded drunk. Like it was really, I was like, and then you do this. And <laughs> so it was pretty funny. Hey Debbie, good morning. Uh, Robin says, uh, has anyone got the acrylic handle knitting loom hook or the acrylic handle knitting loom book? Or the bamboo handle one from Etsy. I was thinking I'd put them on my wish list. What bamboo handle? Really? I don't know about these. Do you have a link? I'd love to see them. Um, did you get enough sleep? Yeah, I was up late. <laughs> I was up late, but um, not doing anything. Like, I had my knitting, like, sitting next to me. Um, but, no, I didn't. I was watching. <laughs> I watched... Um, well, I know why I'm tired. I'm I'm tired because we went to Nebraska Furniture Mart. Have you guys ever heard of that? It's massive. Like, and we didn't even cover hardly any of it. We we were on the third floor for part of it, and we went to the clearance section first because that's what my friend Beth told me to do. And I went there first, and then we went down to like the first floor and kind of went along that we had we had a mission for things and we had the kids I think we would have covered more ground without the kids and the kids were like I'm tired on my feet you know and we get in the car and I said you don't have anything to complain about because they know that I have this condition more my foot like my bones crushed together on my left foot like seriously it's not operable and I was not complaining you know of course I am mad tired now and it's it's in pain and I live with this pain every day but I don't talk about it and I don't sit there and complain you know and I'm like if I can do it you can do it you know <laughs> like you need to chill out it's just a few more minutes <laughs> so anyway we did that so I'm stupid exhausted but I had my feet up last night and then we stayed up late and we watched The Walking Dead and then we watched The Talking Dead yes we're weird and we watched that show <laughs> so anyway, y'all ask me questions. Y'all have questions that can be uh, yarn related. They can be non-yarn related. Um, now you know I watched The Walking Dead if you didn't know already. <laughs> and I'll start talking about it if not. <laughs> if you don't ask me questions, I'm going to start talking about The Walking Dead and apocalyptic uh, knitting. Let's see. If there was an apocalypse... <laughs> Which would be my tool? <laughs> Which would be my tool? <laughs> do I go for metal? Probably. Do I go for precision? <laughs> there are no vampires. <laughs> These would hold up really well. I want to. I want an episode where <laughs> these might work well. I want an episode where they take all the dead people's clothes and um, an arm knit um, a fence, a perimeter out of old zombie clothes <laughs> and then like muck it up. And then it's like this smell barrier. <laughs> I'm going to keep going. I don't see any questions. I see comments. So... I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let me go back and see what people are saying. <laughs> Alicia says, I know how important <clears throat> it is for people who are deaf. I was born almost deaf, uh, but I had many surgeries on my face and ear surgery. Yeah, yeah. I had a um, a miracle hearing, um, uh, a, 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 mir a miracle on my ears. My eardrums um, were bursting, and I was having, like, massive problems when I was a kid, and my, um, my ears were... Um, draining and leaking it was like blood and it was all crusted I remember waking up um when I was four and just um my dad would take care of me and 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 five and like um get my hair all ready and I had like like long hair and it'd be encrusted in my my hair and anyway and it was just like 
I just remember praying about it. And one day my dad, and he remembers that. I don't remember this part, but he remembers me walking up to him in the bathroom one day. And, um, he said, cause normally I look like I was in a ton of pain. And, um, I woke up to him and I had like this two total serene look on my face. And I was like, daddy, Jesus said he healed my ear and I don't have to take the antibiotics. And he's like, I never used that word with you. So I never knew that you knew that word. And of course I didn't. So it was pretty amazing. So I've been healed from that, but I can imagine. Um, Chrissy says, I've worked on the captions at half speed and I find myself laughing. Yes. Um, I have to remind myself that you didn't record the video while drunk. <laughs> Absolutely. It's really funny, right? Oh my gosh. Do you watch once upon a time? I have, um, is it, is it a season back up again? I think I'm behind on this recent last season or so. I like to like kind of wait until it's all built up and then binge it. Um, Robin says the bamboo one is cheaper, but I can't look on Etsy without losing your life fee while I'm on the phone. Oh, don't worry about it, Robin. Hey, send me the link later in our, our message, our messenger thing. Lori says, okay, um, I start learning on needles. My pointer finger is killing me. What is the thing I can try to protect it? Try and change up how you're doing it. Are you pushing? Well, are you pushing on the end of it when you're, when you're, you may have to change your style, um, trying to force yourself to offload your needle a little different or how you're, how you're, um, how you're holding your stuff. Uh, Debbie says, uh, I love the walking dead, uh, need to catch up on episodes since they did their season break. Good morning, Eileen. Uh, Chris says, I see that Joanne's is doing a crochet along later this month. Will there be a knit version as before? Um, I'm not part of that right now. Um, so no, I don't know the answer. Um, Marisi Bizonette, can you explain how to convert this pattern to the loom? Bernat, pull up bulky K. Twisted scar. Okay, I'll I'll look at that. Um, I'll look at that link later. Karen, good morning, all from Texas. Um, Heather, yay! <laughs> Way to go, Jesus Healer. That's right. Uh, I'm sorry, man. I'm like itchy today. Martha says, "Have you ever watched Survivor? It's starting in this week." Oh my gosh, you guys! So little known fact about me. Um, I. <laughs> Okay, so growing up, I did not have cable, and um, when I got married, um, a few months after I got married, my husband, um, I started I started watching a whole bunch of stuff on cable. A few months after I got married, my husband got a job, and he was away in California getting training for two weeks, and during that time, Survivor came out, <laughs> like the first time. <laughs> And I got really addicted. I was watching it all the time. I was watching Big Brother. I was watching Road Rules, Road Rage, watching Real World, watching every reality TV show that I could get my hands on. I was like massively addicted. Like, like, like an alcoholic is addicted to alcohol. I was addicted to watching reality TV show. It was nuts and it was not healthy. Like I full on admit it. It was a bad, bad thing. And, um, and I finally had to, and I've had, I've had a couple of moments of being addicted to different things that, and I've never been addicted to drugs or alcohol, but like that. And then later on after one of my pregnancies, before I found, <laughs> you know, before I found doing, um, like yarn and stuff, um, it was like Facebook games. So I, I've cut those cold Turkey. I don't do the games anymore and I don't do the reality TV shows anymore, but man, I got really addicted. And so I really don't like to watch the show because it reminds me of that. And I really did not like the person I was becoming like other people are fine watching it, but I did not like that. So little known fact about me. I did not, that's not good for me. Um, Christy, <laughs> is that a really weird addiction? I'm just admitting it full on. Chris, <laughs> Christy says, Chris, and I, I was mad at my husband when he accused me of being addicted, by the way. I mean, it wasn't like, oh yes, I'm addicted. Let me just cut, cut it out. No, no, no. I didn't admit it at first. I was embarrassed. Um, Chris, hey, it's a Q and A day. I'll answer. 
Uh, Chris, uh, Joanne is probably doing that because uh, today, oh yeah, this is National Crochet Month, yeah. <clears throat> Chris says, yeah, I didn't really dig reality shows too much drama. Yeah, too much drama. The thing is, is that they're real people, and so, like, that really got me, like, oh, you know, and I can't believe people would be like that. No, no, no. You know, and I didn't realize, you know, a lot of this stuff is scripted, and yeah, it's crazy. Um, yeah, and I watched Project Runway and Project... Anyway, any reality show. But I really do like, I mean, I don't watch Project Runway. I don't watch the now for a reason, but Project Runway is really nice. And um, I got to know a lot of things about fashion that way. And I really was like, I love Tim Gunn. And <laughs> so, and learning about people and like Heidi Klum, like, wow, who knew? Like, who? how amazing she is. So, yeah, um, it wasn't all bad. It's just that I needed to stop, though. <laughs> um, Debbie says, uh, yeah, Project Runway and Face Off. See, I don't know about Face Off. Um, I watched a ton of uh, uh, soap opera and had to stop. Yeah. <laughs> I hardly look at the TV now. Yeah. Um, I like, um, I would watch The Voice for a while. And then I do watch When So You Think You Can Dance comes out. I like that. Um, but those are those are performance type of shows, and um, and I like that just because of the performer in me, because um, I always did like theater and um, you know um, musicals and that kind of thing. So, and I wish I was a dancer. Like in my head, I can dance like the people. And so you think you can dance? I can't really. But I wish I did, and I appreciate and love it. <laughs> so anyway. Totally not about knitting and crochet, but that's all right. It's fun stuff. It's Q&A day. <laughs> Love the voice since they base it off talent and not the looks. Yeah, the voice, not I had, not that I have the voice for the voice, but like that would be the only way that I could ever do anything would be going on the voice because anytime I have or audition for any um, anything with my voice, you know, people just take one look at you and just decide. And um, I'm not... I don't fit in that box. I'm um, I'm a, a very tall woman, and I'm very big. I'm big and tall, and um, and that's just how it is. So uh, let's see. Debbie Marielle says I can binge watch uh, shows that have been over for a while. <laughs> You finally called me. Hey, Jewel Fly. I'm so glad you're here. Good morning from Pittsburgh. Chrissy says, I never had cable. Um, we're doing our best to keep up with um, Blue Bloods and all our Masterpiece Theater shows. Yeah. Downton Abbey. Who's a Downton Abbey fan? You guys like Downton Abbey on Masterpiece Theater? And um, I watched Selfridge, like the Selfridge stuff and um, all that stuff. Go big, Bonnie says. I don't know what that's in reference to, but go big. <laughs> Was this in reference to which one for the apocalypse? Did anybody pick their apocalypse tool to grab? <laughs> uh, let's see. Where where do I... Whoop, something about gauge. Where do I get a loom with smaller gauge? Good question, Amber. Amber, um, you can get smaller gauge looms from uh, Cindy Wood Looms, Knitting Board. Um, Boy now has one. The... the um, the box, actually, I think some of them say Wilton, and they say a lighter gauge, or uh, they may say even, like, fine gauge, which it's not. It's a small gauge. It's three-eighths spacing. And, uh, yeah, those are different ones that have them. And I think the Cottage Looms have them. Kiss is a total any gauge. So, you want any gauge? You go to Kiss Looms. So, there you go. Um, and then Robin, you are so beautiful. Thank you. You're so beautiful. Uh, let's see. Well, if you don't fit in their box, it's their loss. That's right. They'd have to have a big box though. And it needs to be supportive. And they need to line it with yarn and chocolate and water. And not put me in a box or a corner. Because you don't put baby in a corner. <laughs> Christy says British period pieces are our crack that's right <laughs> and you're beautiful don't forget that Debbie thank you Carol says you forgot you're beautiful inside and out <laughs> and a huge heart thank you 
You're beautiful, that's for sure. <laughs> Chris says, oh, God, it's so sad when Downton Abbey ended. I know. Oh, so sad. So sad. But, you know, all shows have to, all shows have to end. Speaking of sad, I also watch, like, the sci-fi stuff. My husband got me into all that. And I'm not going to say the ending, but I'm just going to say, did anybody see Logan? With the Wolverine. Just saying. Also, sci-fi, speaking of which, if we're talking about shows that Kristen likes, um, my husband, when we got married, speaking of cable, <laughs> he made me watch Star Trek from the moment it started, like, what it was at the 60s or late 50s or something, to current when it was um, Star Trek Next Generation. And so I watched all those. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Yep, I had to watch them in sequential order. And then and then I was allowed to watch the movies. <laughs> and then I watched Star Wars. Uh-huh. And yeah. Mm-hmm. So I know about all those things and learn more to appreciate. Like I I'm sure that I saw them when I was younger, but I don't really remember. And so yeah, he had me well, I'm not sure that I saw everything. I saw like the big movies. No, not the Star Trek stuff, but I had, I'm sure I saw Star Wars. Yeah, but I don't remember like, I went to this theater and I was this age, you know. But anyway, now I see everything. Called Midwife. Yes. Oh my gosh, Victoria. I want to see that and he hasn't wanted him. We haven't watched it yet. And he keeps wanting to watch these like, like action movies. I'm like, we have to watch Victoria. I just, I need it. I want to see Victoria. And my sister told me to watch This Is Us. And so um, I started watching a few of those. Call, okay, random back to looms. Christy says cottage looms uh, also have uh, small, and, uh, fine, small gauge and fine looms. I think I said cottage looms, but thank you for adding that. Um, if I didn't say it, I'm sorry because I, I thought it in my head. Jewel Fly, good Lord, those needles are huge. Yeah, <laughs> the size of these anyway. These are 25 millimeter. These are US 50, 25 millimeter. The next big size I have is 35s, which are 20. And the next ones are 19s, which are 15. And the next size is 15, which are something, which are 10. Are they 10? Yeah, anyway, and then they go down from there. And, uh, I think I dropped my, um, I think I dropped my, uh, ton, tungen, Tunisian <laughs> crochet hook. I said tungen. <laughs> it went behind me when I picked this up. It went behind me. Look at this, this thing. Um, Nikki made me this. She made me that when she was learning how to do pottery, I don't know if she signed it, but she made this. Isn't this cool? It's so awesome. Pearl my needles. I need another one. <laughs> so, um, oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. I'm sorry, Crystal. I almost blocked you by accident, but I didn't. Um, Crystal says, good morning, and I just want to tell you I got the yarn in the mail. Yay! Thank you so much. I'm already using it for baby Easter hat sets. Yay! I'm so glad. <sighs> Carol, Carol Ann, you're um, so amazing. Thank you. LOL, baby in the corner. That's right, yeah. Alicia says, Cindy Wood Loom Company has 316s up to 3 8 uh, and bigger. Yes, yes, they do. Cottage Looms does any loom size you want. Um, Ada says, how about doing a needle out of a broomstick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I don't, I don't whittle. <laughs> I'm not going to whittle down a point of a broomstick. I could. But man, I have like a metal broomstick. I I am so tall that I have to buy, I have a telescoping broom handle so like I can make it longer. Um cuz regular um regular stuff is too short for me. I'm like you know, so I got to have a regular thing. Hey Kathleen, good morning. I'm British Columbia. What time is it? Okay. Christy, hey. Your husband was devastated down in Abbey. More Oh, he was devastated more? Oh. What a sweetheart. <laughs> uh, April um, 
<clears throat> yeah, so I, I didn't fully read that in case anybody doesn't see where that came in later in the comment, but her husband was more devastated when Downton Abbey uh, ended than she was. Uh, April was mad through, tr through True Blood ended in the way it did. Okay, that's one that I haven't watched, True Blood. <laughs> Marielle, oh my God, Logan, yeah, ah, yeah, exactly. I was like, I, I was biting my nails. Like, y'all, the reason why my nails are so short is because I have a terrible habit. I, I do bite my nails. And especially when we go to the movie theater and I'm like, put it in my pocket. Like, I'm like, really, I'm sorry. It's terrible. I know. I know. I wash my hands first. I go, <laughs> I go to the restroom before we start a movie. Cause, um, like, it's serious. I get, I get really involved. I get really emotionally involved. So I'm the girl who's like, you look over and you want to know how someone else feels about the movies. Just look at me. Um, I'll tell you. <laughs> and I'm, and I'm like, I'm looking to the person next to me. I'm like, you know. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, I'll have to tell you something. So, um, I, I, I don't know how it happened, but somehow, oh, I think I was at a conference and then I was able to go home early. And so I was near my house and I was like, I'm going to go to movie theater. My husband's always telling me to go to the movie theater by myself sometime because I always go with someone. And it was when the notebook wasn't out yet and there was a special preview for book lovers and apparently their fan club or something. And so somehow these ladies had found out about it. Well, I go in and I'm like, um, oh, let's see, what movie do I want to see? And there's all these ladies lining up and they're like, are you here for the notebook preview? And I'm like, what's the notebook? And she's like, you know, and I said, um, no, I, uh, well, what's it about? And they're like, um, you're going to want to go see this. And so I'm like, okay, you know, and they're like, you want to, um, yeah, yeah. And they, um, they go in there and, oh, I remember. So all these ladies were really sweet and they all had like a box. Everybody had a box of tissues or they had gone into the bathroom and grabbed like a stack of tissues. And so I sit down and like the last seat left. I sit down and these ladies all looked at me and they're like, oh, honey, did you not bring any tissues with you? And I'm like, no, I totally forgot. And they're like, you can have some of mine. And this lady like grabbed a whole bunch of tissues and gave them to me. I was so, I was bawling. Like, I'm like, this movie, why did I come to this movie? <laughs> you know, I was a wreck. I was a wreck by the end. I'm like, my shirt, you know, it's got snot on it. You know, I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like thinking about it makes me teary. Yeah. So I had zero clue about the notebook when I went into it. And I got a poster. <laughs> Afterward, they were like, you want a poster? I'm like, yes. <laughs> it was so. <laughs> so they're like how did you hear about it at the end I'm like I, I can't even talk I can't and they're like it's okay honey we understand <laughs> uh, I don't think I took anybody's seat there just happened to be one left over so I'm so glad okay, I'm, gonna, I'm still going through Star Trek rolls Ellie says Chris says no shows don't have to end <laughs> three of all my uh all time favorites all in it in the same season. Yeah. April says, Woo, Trekkie Hubby. <laughs> Star Wars, power to the geeks. Hey, geeks rule the world. Um, Ellen Parks, Arlene Parks says, Watch the original Star Trek when they were when they were original. What are the, oh, I can't think of the name. What are the little furball things that are like everywhere? <laughs> I forget what those are called. I don't know why. I, every time I think of the original series, I think of those. <laughs> and, uh, and then fighting in the, like the, like all the rocks and stuff. Um, Martha says, I found out when ordering from, um, uh, yarn company, you will get catalogs from other companies. Yeah. Yeah. Mary Maxim sent me a ton of stuff. Um, when they sent me that yarn kit, um, Chris, <clears throat> oh yes, my dad was a huge Star Trek fan. So I'm old enough to have seen the original in the first run. <laughs> you even had a cat named Spock. Awesome. <laughs> well, you have 20 years. <laughs> 
It's my turn to control the remote. Yeah, I did when I watched This Is Us. Chrissy says, watch Victoria without him then or come to our house. We love it. Yeah. If I had any of the ladies clothes, yeah, I'd be like, come over. Let's have a watching party. <laughs> uh, Debbie, I've been watching tons of PBS. What's what's W-E-T-A slash U-K? What is that? Um, <clears throat> love the British shows. Um, yeah, call the midwife. Uh, watch that. Uh, Eileen says, very well written, Victoria. Oh, good. Well, I saw her, and I want to see her because of, hmm, Doctor Who. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, oh, she's on a show. We have to watch it. Look, who, who, look who's here. Look who's on the show. Look who's the main person. You have to support her because she's awesome. Nicole says, I love both Star Trek and Star Wars 2 on Me TV. Got to what I watched the old Star Trek with Shatner and uh, Tim White. But, I mean, Nimoy. Why don't I say Timoy? Nimoy. Um, Ellie, wow, cool. Okay, Alicia says, okay, we are in question. <laughs> Alicia says, has anyone used sock yarn and tell me the difference between each weight? The difference of sock yarn to what other weight? I mean, sock yarn is most appropriately with sock yarn, but you can also make it, uh, you can use it basically for like a la lace weight item. Um, I think that's what a two or a one. It's not a two. Yeah, it's a two. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, you can use that, like if you want to make a lacy shawl or something and have lots of yarn overs and stuff, a sock weight is uh, nice for that. It just depends. Just make a swatch. Uh, I mean, really, you can use anything, pretty much, and you can use multiple strands of it. The sock weight, the sock yarns are, I mean, a lot of times are specifically made to pattern up when you're making socks, um, or say, like, a little toy um, that's small like that. Oh, yeah, that clock is broken. I got it for $5 at Hobby Lobby. It was all whacked out. <laughs> uh, Ellie was talking about the clock behind me needs a new battery. It's, hey, look, it's... It's right twice a day. I mean, come on, give it a break, right? We can all be right twice, twice a day. <laughs> Debbie says, I got my yarn, uh, gray black stash, and thought uh, since it has some reflective yarn in it, it would make hats for the homeless. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. Um, my youngest is doing an internship uh, when they had to go out in the homeless areas for surveys. Cool. Um, I don't know if he said anything more because once it gets so long, it just kind of stops letting me see the rest of it. That's what vampires, Lori says. <laughs> Back to the, <laughs> yeah. And then you use the other one to drive it in. <laughs> I don't watch all the vampire stuff. My husband's made me watch some of it, but it really bothers my heart. I can't really watch that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I can't do that. I've, I've watched a few when he's made me like Van Helsing and, um, some other stuff, but like, I really, really don't like it. It really bothers me. Like, I have to breathe and I have to like, you know, clear nail polish for nail biting. Oh, honey, that doesn't matter. I'll just tear that a polish off. And, mm -mm. Um, hi, hi, Deborah in Charleston, South Carolina. Charleston is an awesome place. I have spent some time there. The Charleston... I'm trying to remember what it's called, the Charleston Char Charleston Place Hotel. I got to spend some time in um, for um, when I went when I was uh, in the floor covering business. Beautiful hotel. Anyway, that city is awesome. Uh, Teresa, how tall are you? I am six foot one. Um, yeah, I wear size um, twelve and a half shoe. My hands are as big as my husband's. Big old hands. Um, I'm shrinking down to 4'11", uh, which I wish I was tall. No, you don't. <laughs> I think you wish you were like 5'6", or something, or 5'8", but not 6'1", that's for sure. <laughs> and you love Netflix? Awesome. Uh, Heather, we are moving to New York this summer. Are you really? What part of New York? That's so cool. Um... Chris says, Mom tried everything to stop nail biting and nothing worked. In junior high, everyone was wearing nail polish and I couldn't until I stopped nail biting. Um, work like a charm. I don't even care. But, but, but see, I don't care about that stuff. Um, 
I pretended like I cared for a while and then now I'm like, yeah, I'm just I'm just natural. I mean, like today I'm I've got lipstick on. I got a little zit here and I got lipstick and I don't care. Um if you see me with makeup on, it's usually like powder. Sometimes I put more makeup on, but I'm pretty natural and I've decided that, you know what? <sighs> this is what it is and if I because I had a time where I was like I have to wait until my hands are perfect to film I'm like they are never gonna be perfect because I wash my hands hard and um, I play with my kids and I um, I'm rough on my hands and I can't I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be one of these people like wearing gloves and be like I am a hand model on YouTube and I have to have perfect hands like no and, and I don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on, I'd rather buy, buy yarn than spend money on manicures. So there's that. <laughs> I am just, I'm just being real today. Okay. Not, not that I'm not real. I'm just, I'm just telling you way more than you've probably heard, wanted to hear from me before. Uh, Marielle says, this is old school, but I started the clap of tea and haven't touched in a year. I thought I knew where I'd stop, but I have no idea. Any suggestions that this, so this doesn't happen again. You may want to like kind of frog back and um, sort of count where you were, like kind of miss a row or two, kind of go back and then sort of follow the pattern back and then see, oh, this is where I was or something like that. Like kind of, or, you know, see how that patterning worked out. That might help you um, kind of study it. And if you can't get it, frogging back, um, uh, like tinking back like one stitch at a time. It may take a while, but you might find exactly where you stopped. Christy says, the book made even, what? The book made New cry even more. Thought the movie was amazing too. I actually read the book first. Oh, no, the notebook. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like Arrow. Oh, like the, the superhero guy with the arrows? Tribbles, tribbles, tribbles. The trouble with tribbles. <laughs> tribbles. <laughs> yeah, all the tribbles. <laughs> I was like, tribbles. Yeah, yeah, all the tribbles. <laughs> uh, Debbie says, <laughs> we're talking about Star Trek. If anybody's just joining me, <laughs> we're talking about all kinds of things. Uh, <clears throat> Debbie says, I didn't care for Jenna and Doctor Who, but loved Victoria season one, ended last night. Oh, I also watched When Calls the Heart. Um, we watched that. And my family and I um, are on season eight um, watching. We bought the whole um, the whole thing uh, for Little House on the Prairie so the kids could watch it. And so we're now on season eight of that. I think there's like nine seasons. Um, we've been kind of binge watching that in the last year and a half with the kids. Uh, Chris says, we named her Spock because of her ears. They were huge and she was deaf. Also had two different color eyes and there was a scene in Star Trek with Spock having an oddity about his eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Alicia says the clock, the clock on Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. That, yeah. That clock. Joanne says, I love sock yarn. I knew you were going to say something. How did I know you were going to say something? Probably because we've had a conversation about it. She says, is my favorite yarn to use. Most of them are categories as a one or two weight. So, and they can, um, vary quite a bit in size from three ply to six ply. And making a swatch is very important. Yay! So I covered it, girl. <laughs> Thank you for writing all that out because that's good to know. Um, Chris, ooh, never thought of reflective yarn for items um, for the homeless. I just joined um, Chicks Crafting for Christ um, at a new church. I'm going to try and focus on items for the homeless. Yeah, and even like if you um, took, like say say it's hard to find reflective yarn, like I can't find enough of it, what you could do is um, designate a few yards to be worked in at strategic spots, like maybe at the band of something or like an accent stripe, like in a hat or something, like maybe not that the whole thing is reflective, but maybe just a portion, you know, like on a bicycle, there's only certain key points that are reflective. And so if you wanted to like work that in as an accent, you could totally do that. Um, April says, dying, I'm only 5'3". Good morning, Elizabeth. Heather, question. Took product off loom with a temperature yarn on active loops. What's the best way to bind off now? Okay, so um, you had active loops that you pulled off the loom. Did you put like some scrap yarn through it? Um, there's a couple of different things you can do. If you put it back on the loom, your active loops back on the loom, you can still bind off. 
um, you just you just put them carefully back in the loom. Make sure you got all your loops on there, and then bind off as normal. Um, the other thing you can do is you can do the um, uh, now if you're grafting something together, you can um, do the um, Russian bind off. I have a video on that, or actually at the end of the um, the hexagon um, blanket. Uh, tutorial there uh, I've got two pieces like say I have two ends coming together you can have live loops through a needle um, and live loops through another needle or your um, scrap yarn through live loops and then you can take a crochet hook and work back and forth and it then it like joins it together you know instead of doing a Kitchener um, you can also like crochet hook through um, go through the side that doesn't have the um, a tail on it and kind of work your way backwards and then pull that last loop through with that little tail that's hanging on. So that's a couple of different things that you can do, Heather. Chris, lots of big girl goodness. <laughs> yeah. Um, Lane Bryant is doing a whole lot of stuff. If you if you um, get ads from Lane Bryant or you go on their website, um, they, um, they've been doing like lots of um, just everyday people kind of shots like, real like real big girls like showing you know uh, and I'm not sure I'd want to be in my skivvies but um you know anyway like just loving being natural and being like that's who we are uh, Eileen says uh, how can you tell if you're doing pearl or knit um <clears throat> hang on a second how can you tell if you are doing pearl or knit have a UFO to finish and can't figure out what it is Well, I would first say build a better habit, and I, this is this is not me. This is not me saying it because I'm better. It's because I need to do the same. Build a better habit of writing it down when you're working on stuff and keeping that paper with it, so you know what it is. First of all, which I I am bad about doing, so I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, the other thing is, is you can kind of just kind of put it in front of you and study for a while, see if you remember what you were doing with it. Um, kind of find um, that you could actually even like try and like look at it, like get a piece of paper and kind of look at it and go, okay, what did I do here? What did I do here? And kind of follow follow through with it, and then maybe frog back a few um, um, rows um, if it's small enough um, to kind of get the rhythm of what you're doing and then continue. If you can't figure it out, turn it into something else or frog it and reuse the material. You know, <clears throat> you could give it to a friend who likes to finish stuff and be like, hey, here you go. Do you want this? <laughs> Heather, are you going to Staten Island? Cool. I've never been to Staten Island. <clears throat> Teresa, uh, my friend is six foot, big hands and feet. Love her to death. Sweet. Give her some love for me. Love to the big girls. Uh, Martha, have you ever um, shown your craft, your yarn craft room? Love the different stashes behind me. Yeah, I have shown it on a live broadcast. I'm not sure which broadcast I did, but I did show it a little bit. Um, it's kind of a mess. It's not like at the point where I'd really, really want to show everybody. Um, you, you're seeing the most interesting corner <laughs> because there's, there's baskets behind. I can, I'll flip it real quick. Uh, I don't think there's anything you can't see. Hold on. Let me make sure there's nothing like top secret. Okay. So this is the other side of what I'm looking at here. Um, I've got my, um, got a little cowl that I still have to type up the pattern. Um, there's a headband from this book that we're going to talk about tomorrow. Boom. We're going to be talking about this tomorrow. Um, there's some yarn, some Bernat yarn, one of my hats. These baskets are full of samples and extra looms and stuff. They actually, normally I didn't have them up top like that. I'm actually going to be working on putting like a light here so it can face me and I can have some better lighting when I'm sitting here. This bookshelf, and then there's one that looks... So this bookshelf here to the right is another one. So it's like two of them on top of each other. And they have a whole bunch of these baskets. And these are works in progress and um, different things that I need to file. And like these are a bunch of books. I'm waiting for this other bookshelf to get mounted up on the wall that I have. So these are all random projects and stuff. Um, these are some projects that I'm working on. This is one thing. This is for, I don't know why it has a name on it because that's not my thing. Um, but anyway, there's, there's like three projects in this thing waiting on that I've got to work. Actually, four that I've got to work on for um, the Knit and Crochet TV show. And then I've got some stuff coming up. Oh, that's for next. 
uh, this month, later on this month, as a sneak preview for some yarn. And then that's a reflective thing that you can't see the rest right now. Let me see if I can turn it. See the second shell fill here? And then that's a reflective thing to help me with um, video stuff. There's that. There's my YouTube award right here. I had to take this to, <clears throat> the kids wanted me to take this to um, the, uh, oh, there I am. Hello. <laughs> that's a weird, ah. Um, <laughs> this is, this is the YouTube deal. The kids want me to take this to, um, what do you call it? Um, the career day on Friday and they wanted to see it. Oh, there's my fan. You can see the reflection. There's my fan. My husband finally changed out the light bulbs. <laughs> there was like one left. Anyway, so that's that. Um, <clears throat> and uh, anyway, I can't really turn the camera better from here. But like, here's all my junk. Like, I was trying to find something and I was like in a hurry. So, here's my little... <laughs> By the way, this little thing is really nice. I really like it for holding on to um, my stuff. Oh, look at these little, I can't remember where I got this. It's called a crayon box clear, but I like it. I like it for my, um, my different needles, my cable needles and stuff. So you want to help me clean up my, clean up my space? <laughs> clean up your space, Kristen. This is here. Let me be real honest. Like see all the mess. I got all the mess. So, um, this little thing right here. Y'all want to know what this says? It says, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Let me put this up. Yeah. It says, I am positioned by God to influence. I live today with tomorrow in mind. I am poised for the challenges. Knowing my decisions will matter. I will make an impact. That's what that says. You like that? <laughs> uh, there's a little bitty... A little bit of peer review. <laughs> Excuse me. I found another needle that I just bought. This is uh, Knitter's Pride Jumbo. These are... Um, I found them for less money at Hobby Lobby after I bought them. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. They are US 50, 25 millimeter. So now, not only do I have them in... Uh, the straight needle, but now I have them in the um, uh, in the circular. So if I want to make something wider <laughs> and heavier, um, Ada says you look so pretty natural. Thank you. Well, you gorgeous natural. Chris says <laughs> I talk like that. She's in California. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> Teresa, how old are your kids? <clears throat> old enough. <laughs> They're, they're elementary ages. Um, Deborah, uh, I want both uh, cute nails and yarn, uh, good yarn. <laughs> you can have your cute nails. I can't deal. Like, that's just not me. That's great for other people. My grandmother would be appalled. My, um, both my grandmothers, actually. Um, my grandmother, uh, my dad's mom, she grew up picking cotton. And, um... She worked hard. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry. She worked hard. To, I'm looking at the time because I'm going to have to leave here. She worked hard so that she didn't have to um, have rough hands anymore. And she went to school and then she got her master's. And so she ended up becoming a, she was a teacher first and then had got went back to school and got her degree so she could have uh, her master's degree so she could be in administration. And she was a vice principal before she retired. But she worked really hard. She, My dad said she used to put lotion on her hands and then put saran wrap and gloves on her hands before she went to bed so that she had really soft hands and then she had these massive she always had red nails these really really long red nails or pink nails and so anyway she loved she loved that but she had rough hands for a really long time and she had large hands like me but um hers were hers were a little slimmer than mine so and my other grandmother was she was in like high society stuff so she was always dressed to the nines um I never lived that way, but that's how she lived. Um, I tell people I have crafter's hands. Yeah, Jewel Fly, I'm on with you. That's a, Chris says, but when you're a teen, um, you want to do what everyone else is doing, and nail polish was so important to me. I was always a misfit and had to do whatever I could. Now I don't care about fitting in. 
but I do try to. Yeah, when I was a teen, oh, I was wearing, don't get me wrong, I was wearing blue mascara, blue eyeliner, blue, um, uh, blue eyeshadow, um, the, the frosted pink lips, the blush, the ratted hair, you know, <laughs> the big hair, the puff, the big bangs, you know, like here, the bangs, um, the, all the, all the sterling jewelry I could get my paws on, all of it, um, dangle rings, wore the dangle rings, um, all that stuff. I just couldn't manage the nails. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, man, I really got a catch in my throat. You got to go, Carol. Okay, you have a good day. Uh, Chris says, I've gone to Star Trek conventions and met, uh, really? You met Scotty? Ha ha, that's so cool. April says, Luke Cage on Netflix, Orange is the New Black. Ugh, I don't think I'm attempt to watch until I got bored. I was hooked on a binge watch them. I started watching Orange is the New Black and it was kind of hard to stomach because, because you know what I'm talking about. Um, that was like, really, do we have to? Really? Um, like all the time? Really? <laughs> I don't need to see all that. Um, so I tried to watch it. I watched like the first season and a half or so. And then I was like, I can't, I can't, we can't anymore. Um, Robin, uh, love when calls the heart in little house Planning to read the book series to my kids soon. Yeah. Ellie, I went to the 50th anniversary Star Trek convention last August. Met a bunch of stars from all five Star Trek series and had a blast. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Uh, April says people are making Plarn, aka past plastic bag yarn, and making them for mats for the homeless. Yeah, 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 yeah. People are making them for the homeless. That's great. Yeah, there are some places that the plastic bags are outlawed, but I think that you can still get them in places though, like where they're trying to recycle them. So you might be able to like reach out if you live in a place like that. But yeah, I mean, you still go to the grocery store around here. I mean, we still have them. A lot of people are going to um, uh, taking bags to the store, but we still have plastic bags that you can just get. Uh, Ellie, Robin watching Little House on Cozy TV. Oh, Elizabeth, she just received her flower loom, uh, flower loom book and loom. Yay! You have three projects in the works. It's going to be a busy spring. So are you going to make these? There's a, oh my gosh, making a ton of these. Get you, get yourself some fabric glue. If you've got some really slippy yarn, get yourself some fabric glue and kind of put a little dot on the back of the, the, um, flower right after you're done with it. Just kind of dab it and then let it sit. Just a tip. Um, because if it's a really kind of slippy yarn, like one of these has viscose in it and it was like, oh, we should have done that. So I wish that I had put them on in the beginning. And then, um, when Beth started working them up, she, um, had to add that in there. <clears throat> Robin, when I was a kid, I watched every episode of Little House on the Prairie at least five to ten times. I would know which ones to skip. It's scary. Yeah. They're, some of them are hard to get through, but they have really good life lessons in them. Um, and learning about other people and stuff. Hey, Teresa! Are you just stopping on? <laughs> Robin says, I think you should, uh, showed your craft room, showed your craft room last week and maybe a Q&A. Not last week. It was definitely two weeks. Thanks. Uh, Marielle says, you're the one who helped me start looming. Love you. I got to run. Okay. Hope you had a good day. Um, oh, we got a YouTube award. Awesome. Yeah. That's for having a hundred thousand subscribers, um, and reaching that level. The next level is, I think is 1 million. So nothing happens until you're at 1 million. Um, and the, the basically they're just awards. They're not like, there's nothing they used to like give you, um, I think it was like a $500 gift certificate to like B&H photography or something. And they stopped it like six months before I got mine. Well, actually I was supposed to get it and it didn't ever come. And, um, I was like really disappointed because, um, Mike, with the, <laughs> Michael with the crochet crowd, he was like, you're going to get your gift certificate. You could buy blah, blah, blah. And I like didn't get it. And I'm like, I kind of needed some new equipment. <laughs> so other than that, it's just a plaque. Um, <laughs> so, oh, you love that saying so inspirational. Yeah, that, that, um, we got that at pink impact. If you ever want to go to a women's conference, um, I usually go and in fact, they're featuring me in the dis devotional this coming, um, uh, May 11th through 12th. If you go to pinkimpact.com, it's a women's conference that's in uh, Fort Worth, Texas, and there should still be tickets. So if you're interested in going, um, I, they get, that was one of our gifts one year, every year at the end of it, they give you a gift. Um, <clears throat> 
yeah, it's pretty neat. Chris says, do you like knitting with huge needles? I don't enjoy larger than 15 and that's a stretch. Um, I do every so often. It's just kind of fun. You know, I don't always do it, but it's kind of fun. Um, I like like a big fat cowl or, um, yeah, if I want to make a chunky blank blanket or something, I just had to have them. <laughs> I also like, I, I do like the big needles to show people how stuff because you can see the stitches better. So when I'm demonstrating, I find it's easier to demonstrate something very large when someone has, they've had a problem knitting in the past and it's nice because they can see the stitches and I'd be like, this is a knit stitch and you can really see it. And then and when you make it smaller, they're like, oh, I get it. So anyway, um, I'm going to have to run. You guys are awesome. Um, my mother always says you should take as much time with your, with your hands as you do with your face. I think they're my best feature, and I don't show, I don't show my age at all. I hate seeing these gorgeous superstars with ugly hands. Just my own quirk. Well, that's, I mean, that's fine for you. I just, it just doesn't bother me. So, it just, just doesn't. Um, I'm just, it, I just do me. <laughs> Um, Martha was, wait, were you a Valley girl? <laughs> like totally for sure. We would totally like talk like this with our friends and not with our parents. And if we started talking like their parents, they were like, stop. And so I got on this kick of where I kept saying like, like mom and dad, like, like this and this. And my brother was like, shut up. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, my family was real tired of it. Um, Chris says I wasn't allowed makeup until I was in high school and only pastels between mom and Catholic school. So subdued. I didn't have cast the Catholic school. Um, yeah, my family is pretty conservative, but of course I would push what I could have. <laughs> so, and, and I had it in my purse and then I would put it on later. So, um, yeah, not okay. I wouldn't want my kid doing it. Elizabeth says, I love Star Trek. Watched it uh, from the very, very beginning. I also, uh, let, let me just say, like, some of the boundaries that I pushed was because um, I really didn't feel like I had a mother who was very um, mothery, present, whatever. She worked really weird late. Like, she went into work at, like, she got up at 3 a.m., and she went into work, um, and like her lunch break was at 8 a.m. or something. Um, but she was done in time so that she could get us after school. Um, sometimes we did walk home. It just depends on her shift. She worked for American Airlines. But, um, yeah, she wasn't kind of emotionally there for me. And so, um, and I had already been abused um, by that point, by the time I was in school. So I had some other issues, let me just say. So, yes, I was seeking attention, and, and, um, and that was not okay. So... Yeah, I had to receive feeling from that, but that's just part of my testimony. Um, <clears throat> hey, Tammy, I see you jumped on. I'm actually about to leave, man. Ooh, I gotta get to my appointment. <laughs> oh, reading your your thing about someone whittling down dowels. That's cool. <laughs> Chris, don't get me wrong. Not saying your hands are ugly, just the way I was raised. Yeah, no, no, no. I get it. I get it. No, my 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 grandmother would be like can't believe you're showing your hands like that um so you love my valley girl accent Deborah thanks <laughs> Ada says I did mine from Pincho to oh I don't know what that is oh <laughs> when Kristen finishes I hope she has a great day thanks Robin <laughs> oh my gosh Chris oh no you didn't push with my mom yeah <laughs> I didn't push my mom I push with my mom I just waited until you know we weren't around each other which was quite frequent because she was not really involved. So my dad was involved, but not my mom. So anyway, I'm so glad you guys joined with me today. You learned a whole lot of weird things about me. So that's Kristen. <laughs> um, I got, I, I've got to head out. Actually, I have to go get my special inserts done for my feet. I get like special, um, uh, my feet get molded to this thing and then they make a new thing. So every year I have to get new orthotics. And so I'm going to get my orthotics taken care of. So anyway, I'm so glad you guys joined me. Tomorrow is loom knitting day. And then we'll be talking about the book at 1130. Be sure and uh, like the Annie's um, page 
and 11.30 Central Standard Time. We will be talking about that. I'll do a demo on the loom there. And um, so I'll have a short loom um, thing in the morning, and then I'll do that. I'll be back on later on when Beth comes to my house. So um, I have got a video coming out this Friday, and you'll see that. And then next week, everyone, listen before you say goodbye. Um, I don't think I'll be able to come on Q&A next week because it is spring break. So I may come on real quick and say happy spring break, or I may pop a little picture up. But it's spring break with my family, and my husband's like, please don't do any broadcast. So... I'm going to do that. I'm going to not do that according to what he's telling me. So I'm going to obey him. So <laughs> um, anyway, I'm so glad you guys joined me and um, I'll see you again tomorrow. Love you all. Mwah. Bye. Have a great day and happy crochet and loom knitting. Bye.